JCCR Adventures. And this is an adventure you can do even if you've got your dog dogs crawling all over you. So like and subscribe to help feed and dress those poodles. So we're gonna be changing the dishwasher. So we've gotta take out the old dishwasher, put in the new dishwasher, and I'll show you the simple steps to doing this so you don't have to pay a couple hundred dollars to have someone come to your house and do it because yes, it doesn't take long, but they will charge you for a displacement fee to get to your residence. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is disconnect this tube up here. It's coming off your elbow. So here, just to show you nice and close, you've got little clips. So to get it off, you just need a pair of pliers. You squeeze this right here. And while that gets the clip on and off by squeezing this little ring, and it's also what holds the pipe in place. So when it's lower, it's gonna squeeze onto the tip of the pipe right here and you just slide it up when it's not in use and if you need to get it out of the hole and it's blocking well you just need to remember that you put it there so you can always take a picture as you do jobs so you can always go back and say how did I unassemble things so that you know how to assemble things so that's my quick and easy little trick I take I do jobs that I have no experience and probably no business doing because I take photos and because there's always YouTube, you can always figure this stuff out on your own and save thousands. So let's get to the next step. So just hit that like and subscribe button and stay tuned because we're gonna get to the next step. So now, step two, we're gonna turn the water off. Really important not to forget that one before you start to unscrew things. So you turn the water off and then you're gonna unscrew if you're on a copper pipe. If you're not on a pipe and you're just on a, a, a tube, maybe it'll be easier. It's just a matter of taking a clip off like we just did in step one. But if you do have the tube, well, you're gonna have to unscrew that and make sure that you don't twist on your original piping. Your piping actually going to the rest of your house, the rest of the sink, because if you do damage that, well, then you're gonna have a leak. And the only way you're gonna be able to shut that leak off is if you go down probably in your basement or wherever your water source is from the town or from your well and you need to shut that water off. So be very careful when you're unscrewing this, but we're just gonna have to go counterclockwise and get this screwed off because that unfortunate metal pipe is going to the dishwasher. A lot of newer systems will actually just have a plastic tube and it'll be real easy to take off. So stay tuned for step three. So you're really gonna wanna make sure, very important, that you don't have vibrations go to the rest of your copper piping because the welds on copper piping, you shake those pipes a little and they'll come right out and you'll have a real leak on your house, but you'll need to turn the main valve off to your home for the water if that does happen. So to avoid vibration, I'm using my clamps here, my monkey wrench or clamps, not monkey wrench, but anyways, my vice grips and I'm using my clamps here and the vice grips are holding things in place and I'm making sure that the vibrations stop at the clamp and I'm just going counterclockwise. So figure out counterclockwise, picture yourself as if you're in front of the screw that you're undoing and well you need to go the opposite direction of a clock. So from 12 going back to you know 10 10. So once we get that off, I've secured that there's no vibrations going to the main piping here. And I can do the last little bit with my hands and then everything, the, that piping will slide out. And uh, by then we should be ready to pull the dishwasher out, but there's some screws usually above the dishwasher screwing into your countertop. So we'll just have to do those by hand. So stay tuned. Now, step, what are we at, three? So step three is we have to disconnect electricity. But how do we disconnect electricity? Well, first you wanna make sure your breaker is off. So very important step three, make sure the breaker power to here is off. If you really wanna play it safe, I do recommend that you have a test pen for testing to see if there's electrical current still in the wire. Make sure the current is out of the wire. We need to access the wiring so that we can disconnect it and get rid of the old dishwasher. So we have two screws here take this panel off you put a fancy screw so that you know not just anyone can get in there don't worry if you have even just a very simple screw multi faucet screwdriver if you have a socket set tool kit you'll probably have one of the keys in it 
So you'll be able to access the little electric box here, which you're using this head right there. So I cannot recall what that is called. Multi-star. <laughs> yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll call it the multi-star, the Mario star. So you get your Mario star in here. Really, I have no business doing this, but this shows that a lot of these things that you'll spend a couple hundred dollars just having someone take out the old dishwasher and put in the new dishwasher, you can do yourself and save hundreds of dollars. And when you save hundreds of dollars several times, well, you end up saving thousands of dollars, folks. And uh, that's part of the JCCR adventure. To get, to be able to afford our adventures, you gotta save money somewhere. And this is an adventure in itself. You learn a lot of good couple skills about communication and not arguing too much, even when you're frustrated. Marie's on the other side of the camera, by the way, and she is smiling. She's not <laughs> making faces at me. So you get this little oh, box we're off. We're doing a great uh, teamwork. Yeah, teamwork. We're taking our time. We're thinking things through. Because earlier, Marie told me to just pull on something, which is surprising. Normally, I'd be the dumb muscle. But uh, this time, Marie said to pull on something, and it was the copper piping. And I said, well, no, hon, if we pull on that, we're going to damage the copper piping to our house, and then we're going to have a flood if our main valve doesn't fully shut off, which we have noticed before the main valve doesn't fully shut off. But so we, we change it because we're we uh, prudent. Yeah. Oh, that was smart. Good job. Yeah, we call it an electrician because this time we cannot do it by yourself. When it's the main, <laughs> you need to call the city well, we, to... Uh, you must have called the plumber, you mean. The, the city too. You need yeah. to call the city first to shut uh, your main. And after that, the electrician is... Uh, uh, the plumber, sorry, yeah. is able to, uh, to do it. Honey. The mm -hmm. last time I asked you if the power was off, I was, what, almost 20 feet in the air. I was about 16 feet from it's our floor. just because we forget my to My head was almost 20, back. hold on, my head was almost 20 feet to the floor. Thankfully, I had a helmet on, but I got what? I got shocked. I got hit the main current off the light in the main hallway, which is two stories up. And I was on, what? Uh, yeah, it was dangerous. About 14 inches of wood i had about 14 to 18 in well I had about 20 inches of wood that were going across those uh, stair panels so i'm gonna ask you again and hopefully you really have the right answer for me is the electricity off yes the breaker for the dishwasher is off right. but at my defense the last time we closed it we tried to open it after that and the light doesn't work so we just tried to switch the the we're wiring and yeah. forgot to put we're the breaker of off on again and off but I had asked, is it off? And I did get yes as an answer. So I guess we'll find out pretty shortly. I'm actually standing in water and have my, I'll take my glove out of water. I don't even know if these soles are rubber, so I don't know how well that they will protect me. But from my experience, it's not very fun, but I haven't been killed yet by the 110 volt. All right, so before having your wires exposed as they are now, just take your test light and put it up against the wire. Once they are actually exposed, you can even, there's absolutely nothing going on here. So the wire is not live, it's a dead wire. So now we can remove the dishwasher, clean up the space and get ready for the brand new dishwasher. Um, Instruction of a dishwasher. I think you're living the dream right now, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. You're living the dream. You Look at all these instructions, you're so happy. I love it because they show images of how you can place your dish in the dishwasher. Yeah, just on a side note, I'm not trying to <laughs> imply that Marie loves doing the dishes. I'm just implying it's a fact. Marie, you love, love going through the instructions and then telling me what to do. And more than that, I love doing a Tetris in the dishwasher. They show me how to do it in that new one. <laughs> So stay tuned, we're gonna get the old dishwasher out and put the new dishwasher in here at JCCR Adventures. So please like and subscribe, hit the bell notification and uh, watch us as we do adventures because this is one adventure to save us hundreds of dollars so that we can actually go on those vacation adventures from all the money we saved. So we went down to the hardware store well, did we buy this? No, no, it came with the dishwasher. It came with the dishwasher. We went down to the hardware store to actually so that we can replace that copper piping because on our old machine it was bent. So you could have just disconnected everything from the front panel first and just pulled out your machine. But we wanted to get rid of that copper piping. And good thing it was bent underneath the machine. Probably part of the reason why our dishwasher burnt out 
was having a lot of trouble and was flooding. So we've gone ahead, we bought some flex tube that we're gonna run to the connection. So we've connected our flex tube, put a little tape, um, white uh, plumber's tape, and we've connected it here, just slightly tightened, you know, we hand tightened. And then I did about a, a uh, just about a half turn with the tool, uh, getting that tight but not too tight so that I don't strip anything. And then putting this tube on, you just got a little clip that you've got to squeeze. You squeeze the little clip, and let's see if we've got one of these here. You just squeeze this clip here. Easy enough. Get your tool. Just whatever you have to, to squeeze this down. And you clip it over the piping, and you get the piping on, you know, each machine is going to be possibly a little different, but on this Whirlpool, it's right in the back left side of the machine. When we just slide the tube on, now the rest is going to be really simple because this is going to go underneath the sink because this is our, um, in English, we'd, in French, we'd say, c'est le tuyau déchet. <laughs> it's the out, maybe? Yeah, it's the yeah. out. So we've got the out. <laughs> the bad water, the dirty water, your dish wa dirty dish water while it's going out this tube. And we just gotta connect that underneath the sink. Screw in the flex tube and add the electrical wiring, which is gonna be pretty simple because we're just matching up some colors. And then we're gonna have some clean dishes, folks. Well, we'll uh, conclude this in just a moment. All right, so the dishwasher is in position it's functioning, it's fantastic. Three layers, so Maddie has been going on and on about how incredible it is, because you know everything has its slot, so she's really happy, and I'm happy because that means she's happy loading it up, so I don't have to load it up. I don't have to do the dishes. So buy, here's a piece of advice, buy the right dishwasher to get out of having to help with the dishes. <laughs> I do stuff outside. So let's just check underneath the sink. Now, because we unfortunately did have a leak here, we did have to call a plumber because this was leaking and we did need a new valve and they didn't have that in the hardware stores near us. But otherwise, we just would have had the easy solution of clamping that back on the top. And of course, it wasn't as straightforward and easy as, as it should have been because we didn't have the right top versus the piece provided. But that we did get at the hardware store, easy peasy and normally would have just reconnected and screwed back on there and we would have saved hundreds of dollars. Feed and dress those poodles and encourage JCCR adventures. Well, all you have to do is like and subscribe, hit that thumbs up button. We are loving our Whirlpool dishwasher. Fantastic, give you a little inside shot. There's no actual handle, you just got a tug on it. So there's Marie's three different rack layers and it's actually really really practical. I think Marie hasn't been this happy in a long time. Feeling pretty good? Yeah. <laughs> Feels good to not wash the, the stuff by hand. <laughs> yeah we went through a little period of hand washing which I did help with so we're good and glad this is all set up. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Really appreciate it folks. It does help feed and dress those poodles that are somewhere around here. They're always hanging around. Take care folks, have a great weekend.